Chapter 9 Power of the Straw Hat Naruto just got back in his room with a towel wrapped around him from the shower he took when he got home and set out his usual training attire, long blackish green pants, black shinobi sandals, dark purple vest, and his straw hat. Naruto was told of what had happened to Ano if one were to closely listen when he was in the shower, or look in Hinata's case, Naruto was quietly crying. Ino got severely hurt because of me, Naruto thought as he began to get dressed, I couldn't control myself when I went demon, even after all the exercises Chopper helped me with. Many of the straw hats had tried to comfort Naruto saying that it wasn't his fault, but Naruto just couldn't see past the fact that going demon could have been prevented. Naruto-kun, said Haku as she knocked on her betrothed's door, are you alright? Naruto buttoned the pants and opened the door to see Haku and Hinata, who had tissues in her nose. We know you're distraught of what had happened to Ino, said Hinata as she motioned Naruto to sit on his bed, and we wanted to let you know that even if you didn't go demon, you probably still would have hurt Ino. Not as bad though, but in reality, Yuzum should have received such punishment. Naruto was shocked as Hinata would barely wish pain to befall anyone, even if it was Yuzum. I don't know Hinataheim, said Naruto as he picked up his straw hat, although I am planning on how to deal with Yuzum personally, but Ino was just a pawn. An innocent pawn that was involved with this. Hinata and Haka didn't know what to do until Minato walked in. This is part of being a soldier, said the fourth Hokage as he sat on the chair near Naruto's desk, I've had to kill pawns myself, innocent or not, it's part of the reality we live in. There's never any rest for those in the military. Naruto did feel slightly better, but he needed to take care of something before he could fully forgive himself. After Naruto got dressed, he, his parents, his future wives, and Sakura were on the training grounds of the Namike's estate. Naruto had learned that he was allowed to continue in the Chunin exams as Ino was considered disqualified for having help in her match and that Hinata had lost to Nejai as she was too focused on Naruto, but accepted defeat honorably. Now you wanted to show us your power? Asked Minato as he looked at the others. He wanted to make sure Yuzum wasn't watching so he had Anbu make sure she didn't leave her room. Naruto gave Minato a smirk and said, yes, and you better be ready. Naruto pointed a finger at his father and said, pull my finger. Confused, Minato decided to obey and was completely surprised as Naruto's finger stretched as Minato pulled it. He let go, causing the finger to snap back in place. That is my gum style, said Naruto as he stretched both cheeks out, given to me by Luffy. I'm practically made of rubber so lightning jutsus can't hurt me. Naruto looked at Haku and said, Haku should remember this power. Gushine then saw multiple arms sprout from Naruto's shoulders, making her son look like he had six arms. Go ahead and touch them, said Naruto as everyone touched the extra appendages. This is my blossom style, given to me by Robin, my Kachan. The arms soon disappeared as everyone heard Naruto's voice come Minato. Minato used a shadow clone to see Naruto's mouth on the back of the original Minato's head, stunning everyone. I can even place the duplicates on other objects and people, said Naruto's mouth before it disappeared, very useful when gathering information or fighting from a distance. Naruto then made an arm sprout from Sakura's body and toss her a kunai. Go ahead and poke it, said Naruto and Sakura did just that. Everyone was surprised as the duplicate started to bleed. The only thing about this ability is that whatever damages the duplicate obtain, said Naruto as he lifted his original arm to show that his arm was bleeding at the same spot where the duplicate was stabbed, I get as well. After the duplicate disappeared and Naruto's wound was taken care of, Naruto then changed into a small golden fox. The girls were awestruck at Naruto's look as a fox as the only things that were there was Naruto's clothes, hat included. Haku picked up the golden fox and began hugging it, with Hinata, Sakura, and Kashina soon getting their turns. This power was given to me by Chopper, said Naruto as he jumped out of Kashina's arms, I can turn into a human, fox hybrid with different abilities for each form. Naruto then saw the grim looks on his parents and Hinata's faces and sighed. Yes, what you saw in that match, said Naruto as he returned to his full human form, 
was another form, but dot I lose control as the second rumble ball overloads my powers, turning me into my demon form. It's my strongest form, but I can never control it as the overload causes me to mentally pass out. Minato placed a hand on Naruto's shoulder and said, Well, we will just have to help you learn how to control it. If we can't, then we will designate someone to be responsible for the rumble balls and have that demon form be used as an absolute last resort. Naruto smiled that he now had a chance to tame his demon form. With his spirits up, Naruto then slapped a slip of paper with the kanji for cyborg on it to his chest and did some quick hand seals. Mecha Naruto! said Naruto as the seal on the paper began to glow. There was a blinding light as Naruto's body transformed into a new shape. Naruto grew taller as his arms and legs became longer, his forearms and hands grew larger as if swollen, and his nose became metallic. Naruto's clothes changed as his purple vest became a red vest with yellow stars and opened to show off his chisel chest and his pants became black swimming trunks with the kanji for metal fox at the bottom of both legs. Naruto? asked Gushina as she stared at her son, receiving a nod. This is my mecha form said Naruto as he removed the skin on his hand to reveal a metal hand under the glove, all that seal did was fuse me and Frankie together and we fight as one. Naruto put his glove back on and returned to his natural human form. Naruto then let out a sigh and said, my next power is really dot spooky and creepy. The only ones who know about this power are Anko and Ibiki. Are you sure you want to see dot this power? Everyone knew that Naruto was serious about this power and that this power could be more than spooky and creepy. There was a good long silence until Hinata spoke up and said, I don't care if that power turns you into a perfect duplicate of us with all of our knowledge or even a walking skeleton, I would still love you. Everyone else shows the same resolve as the hugged Naruto. Don't say I didn't warn you, said Naruto as everyone soon felt like they were hugging a skeleton. Everyone looked at Naruto and saw that instead of his face, they were looking at his skull. Everyone jumped back in complete shock and fear as the skeleton soon started to roll around the ground laughing. You should see the look on your faces, laughed the skeleton in Naruto's voice. Anina Naruto? asked Sakura as her face paled as the skeleton got to its feet. In the flesh, said Naruto as he laughed again, but I have no flesh. Yo oh oh oh. Skull joke. Naruto took off his vest to expose his rib cage. Haku slowly poked a rib, causing Naruto to laugh which creeped everyone out even further. This is the form I have to use when I perform soul style, said Naruto as his skeletal hand began to glow blue from chakra, I am still very much alive, so don't worry. Soul style? asked Minato as he continued to stare at the skeletal form of his son. Yes, said Naruto as he poured some tea. In this form, I can contact the dead and communicate with them. The spirits of the dead can even provide me power depending on the location of the fight or the amount of lingering spirits that are still there. Naruto then took a sip of the tea and to everyone's surprise none of the tea had fallen out of his exposed jaw or out of his ribs. Haku then remembered the battle at the bridge and asked, What you did at the bridge back then dot that was the power of your soul style. Naruto nodded and said, Yes. There were so many restless spirits that went got gone and provided me the power to not only have a jutsu that couldn't be dispelled, but also the agility to cut all of those thugs down like nothing. Naruto then took another sip of his tea and said, the singing I did was just for fun. So if you're going to be married, said Kashina as she paled even further, does that mean? Naruto then returned to his flesh and blood human form and finished his tea as he said, there's no need to worry. I can teach this skill as anyone can do it. Becoming a skeleton during the jutsu is just for me and it's not permanent. Besides, I will stay in my human form for those intimate moments. Everyone sighed in relief that nothing too bad would happen. Everyone else provided the skills that I possess, said Naruto as he got out a scroll and unsealed a blue bow staff, Nami taught me my weather style and how to fight with a bow staff. Naruto sealed the staff away and unsealed three swords and had one in each hand and one in his mouth and said, Zoro taught me three sword style and ventriloquism. Naruto used all three swords to cut down a tree and then sealed them. 
Usopp helped improve my throwing accuracy, said Naruto as he threw a shuriken towards the leaf symbol on a wall meters away and hit it dead center, and Sanji taught me the black leg fighting style, or what I call chef style taijutsu, as it is just skillful kicks and Sanji told me that a chef's hand are the second most precious things in his life. Everyone was amazed at what all Naruto can do and how long he kept it a secret. My powers do have a weakness, said Naruto after his demonstration, sea water. Confused, Minato asked the reason why. The powers I get from Luffy, Robin, Chopper, and Brook are from special fruits called Kuminomi, or Devil Fruit, answered Naruto. Those with the power of the sea swim like a rock in sea water and are weakened by a special stone called sea stone. Hinata then asked, Then what happened when I saved you from the river? Naruto let out a long sigh and said, The reason for that is my dear sister destroyed three of my blossom clones by launching them into a tree where the three of the god concussions, the fourth one was stabbed in the back by Arakamaru's henchmen, and then I took a five-pronged seal to the gut which knocked me out and disrupted my chakra. Kashina was staring off into space after hearing that Naruto is weak to sea water. Sea water. You went on a mission to Kiri, knowing full well that you could have drowned. Screamed Kashina as she gave Naruto that you were in trouble look. Now now, said Naruto as he slowly backed away, I made sure I completely mastered water walking and wore close toed shoes. Naruto was running around the training grounds as Kashina chased him with threats of clobbering Naruto and then grounding him. At dinner time, Minato had told Naruto, who was now sporting a lump on the top of his head, about Yuzum's punishment and that Naruto would have the honors of sealing away the chakra. Naruto also learned that Minato was going to have the punishment done before Naruto's match with Nejai in the arena. Naruto knew that Nejai was all about fate since his father had died when Hinata was being kidnapped, so Naruto decided to fix that in his fight. Naruto then told Minato and Kashina what he had planned for what to do with Yuzum. So Naruto, asked Kashina as she collected the dishes, why does it take two of those rumble balls to send you into your demon form? Naruto took out a rumble ball and handed it to Minato. The rumble ball just like a soldier pill, said Naruto but it is 100 times more powerful. Minato and Kashina both had heart attacks at the thought of such power. One rumble ball actually sends me into energy high as my energy and chakra is amplified, making my body unstable with chakra. That's why I go into my Tao form as I can burn more chakra from the attacks I use, said Naruto. I can use the other forms that the rumble ball allows me to use, but I have a time limit of 3 minutes. Naruto got up from the table and said, Dinner was good, Gushina-san. Good night Gushina-san, Minato-san. Both parents watched Naruto walk to his room, knowing that even though Naruto would be unable to call either of them mother or father, he still showed love towards them. Tomorrow begins Naruto's training, said Minato as he recalled Naruto's plans for Yuzum, and we are going to help him. Gushina knew that Naruto plans on stepping up his game if he's going to go with his plan and then fight the Hyuga prodigy. Of course, said Gushina as she looked at her husband, Naruto is going to get the help he needs if he is to defeat Nejai after dealing with Yuzum first. Both parents ended the night coming up with ways to help the son with his training. The next day, Naruto awoke to find himself in his mindscape where he saw a giant pair of eyes look at him. You must be Captain Naruto Yuzumaki Namikaze, said a loud booming voice, you remind me so much of Captain Luffy yet you also remind me of Robin. I am Thousand Sunny. Naruto was confused at what he heard, wasn't Thousand Sunny supposed to be the ship? As if the voice read Naruto's mind, it said, yes, I am the very ship that sailed with the Straw Hat Pirates. The reason I myself have a conscience is that when strong bonds are formed, even a ship such as myself can have a spirit. The straw hats and I have created what you ninja would call a summoning scroll so that you can use my powers as well as the others to aid you, said Thousand Sunny as more eyes made themselves visible. Others? asked Naruto when he saw the other eyes. Didn't you pay attention to the memories the straw hats showed you? yelled a new voice, clearly agitated, Boss Sunny wasn't the only one built by Frankie. 
A scroll appeared before Naruto and the shinobi noticed that the scroll had the straw hat Jolly Roger on it with a kanji for sell the thousand seas underneath. Just sign your name in blood and an imprint of your right hand, said elegant, yet intimidating voice, then whenever you want to summon us, just do the seals, boar dog bird monkey ram, and then say summoning jutsu and call out one of our names. The shadow fade to reveal a small sheep in a yellow kimono, a horse in a white suit jacket with its manes in buns, a shark in a dark blue yukata, a rhino in bright red armor, a brachiosaurus in bulky white armor, and a giant lion wearing a black cape with a straw hat symbol on it. Kaya! said the sheep as it playfully waved, I am going merry too. I am Shiro Makuba, said the horse as it bowed in an elegant manner, although I do not like to brag, but aside from Boss Sunny, I am the fastest in our group. The shark soon followed and said, Names shark submerge, and don't worry about where you summon me, land or sea is all the same to me with my diving jutsu. I am the great Kurosai FRU4, said the rhino as it puffed out its chest, there isn't no one thing that can stop me for I am the great Kurosai. Aside from a ditch, said the Brachosaurus as it scratched its armor belly, I am Brachotank. The great lion behind us is our boss summon, Thousand Sunny. Thousand Sunny let out a might roar as Naruto watched in awe, before a question popped up. Why do only five of you have numbers on your bodies? Naruto asked as he began signing the contract. The numbers on our bodies show which soldier that Boss Sunny summons when he uses his personal summoning jutsu, said Shiro as he pointed to the one tattooed at the base of his neck, Going Mary's also symbolizes that she is the second Going Mary as Frankie created her as a special gift to the other straw hats, after the original had passed on into Boss Sunny before reforming itself as Going Mary too. Should others want to call forth our power? said Thousand Sunny, you are to summon me so I can give that person a test to see if they are worthy of our power. If they prove themselves, they must also provide me their own Jolly Roger as it is the very symbol of their dreams. Thousand Sunny lifted his cape to reveal each of the Straw Hat's personal Jolly Roger, including Naruto's, a red skull in the shape of a fox's skull with nine red tails behind it with the kanji for Maelstrom in between the ears. The scroll vanished or Naruto finished signing it, proud that he has his own summons. We shall leave you to your duties, Captain Naruto, said Thousand Sunny as Naruto faded away, and live your life to fulfill your dreams. Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you guys want to watch more like it, please subscribe to my channel and become part of the video game fanfiction plot. And please leave a comment down below and hit that like button. If you guys have any suggestions on any stories you guys want me to read, don't hesitate. They're always welcome here in the video game fanfic plot. That also goes for video games. Until next time, goodbye!